<laughs> and what I'm saying is I can take this argument and I can make an or a probabilistic argument for God because they themselves have already signed off that morality yeah. is objective. And if it's the case, God created the world in which we can discover that morality is objective. But they don't which believe Paul that. Seems, Paul seems, well, yeah, I know prob- that they're not. Probabilistic it, arguments what? are just not sufficient to prove God. Yeah. You, you need to prove God well, I'm not beyond it. You need to. Nobody well, can prove God what? beyond a doubt. Of course we can. Of course we can. I do it every okay. day. Ooh, let's Greg, go. You're, 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 Greg, you're telling Dr. me Greg that you Bonson, pro- you're, you're telling me Dr. that you Dr. Greg Bonson Bonson did case it in let's all go. of his books and yes, all of his, no, and he all of his lectures. I've Van Til did lectures. it as well. Have you I'm ever read that? Li- yes, I've listened to his lectures. Oh, okay. I'm do you have a doctor? Do you have a doctorate degree in philosophy? You're not going to. You're not going to prove to an atheist that God exists using the presuppositional argument. They're still going to okay, hand wave it away. I think okay, the Okay, get your jammies on. I know. I think the who well, is this warm guy up your milk. Yeah, warm up uh, your milk. Get in bed. Who's the guy yeah, bloviating here? Case but, on. I, gar- I guarantee you, you've Ms. never, Lenny you've never. I know. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. He's. Well, you're just. I guarantee you. Just I guarantee you, you when you brought him up, he dismissed them all. Yeah, he doesn't like what I have. And I'm a Christian. Yeah. I'm a Christian. I know. You brought up. Did you bring up JP Moreland? Aw. No, I didn't. You must be talking to yourself. You must be just delusional. I don't know what's what oh, you're okay. talking about. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe if you actually, stop, just like maybe maybe if you just stop grandstanding now, and actually interlock, you would actually li- hear what okay, I'm saying. Okay, I'll interlock with you. You then. clearly you clearly you want, don't want to do that. So you want to Ooh, interlock yeah. with you? Interlock you. With would you, you like to interlock? Yeah. Would you like to interlock? Sure. So, how many people have you proven that Jesus Christ is the truth by your presuppositional argument? Every single person I've talked to. No, you proven haven't. it beyond a shadow of a doubt. Their, have you, their have you acceptance, talked, their, have their you acceptance to, have you to, of their, their acceptance no, of haven't. my argument, their acceptance of my argument is irrelevant. I have proved uh, using concrete okay. logic and reason. <laughs> I, got I have justified. I got okay, baby boy. So nobody well, maybe you should just put your jet. Listen, if this is too hard for you, if this is too hard for you, why don't I've you just take God a nap? God doesn't let exist, but if you don't want to accept okay, it, get, I mean... Eat up some warm milk and just ha- take a nap. This is clearly too much. You haven't convinced food, anybody, so. but that's yeah. still... That still doesn't mean you haven't proven it to them. Got it. Yeah, he asked you how um, many people have you convinced. He didn't ask how many people... He didn't ask how many people you just told. No, he said prove it. So offering a proof, offering a proof would another, satisfy I, them. I got another question. The proof um, wouldn't be. I got be another question the for you. His question. I got another question for you. Where in the Gospels does it say that people will come to believe in Jesus Christ because of a presuppositional argument? This is the Damn. stupidest thing I've ever heard someone say. That's a question. Yeah. Okay, Stoller. Okay, Stoller. Scriptura. There's like an uppercut. They're never yeah. going to accept any evidential argument. Yeah. Obviously, an evident evidence for God. An hey, evidence. hold on, Ebay. Why are you speaking on behalf of all atheists? That's weird. What I'm He's saying is being honest. You have a bias. Yeah. What, I'm what I'm saying is about the opinion of everybody. That what shut up for gonna, a second, or I'm, gonna I'm in the middle of talking. Keep talking. No, concrete. Was, you're not in the middle. Of I was talking. I'm not talking to Ebay. I'm talking to the other guy. Yeah, but you I start, asked him a question. You started talking Godfrey, to me. For, you started talking Godfrey, over me. I asked him a question, and I expect oh an answer. And, and and yeah, I don't care what like you and left. Levi have to say at the moment. You were oh, over you talking. No, he Godfrey, left, man. Yeah, guy, when you mute people, they leave. Godfrey, That's how that works, I, I didn't man. mute him. I didn't mute him. He's a he's a public oh. figure. I can't mute him. Uh, well, he was muted left. by somebody. So I ask, I ask a question. Jason wasn't a public figure, and yeah, he was muted. He wasn't muted. Uh, oh, he, he, was, he, was. Was. he was. He was red mic. Him. He had a red. He mic had on. the red yeah. microphone next to his name. So yes, he was. Well, muted. Who are mods in here besides oh, okay. Matt? Well, I guess, I guess, I guess I it did. I guess it worked because I tried to mute him and nothing happened. So maybe it did work. Maybe it was just a delay. Okay, well, good. I wanted to mute yeah, him because that's what I tried to do. Yeah. And then I, what I wanted to ask him was. Where in scripture he reads that people will come to Christ because of a presuppositional argument. Why are Christians There's nowhere so in dysfunctional in having zero a conversation places in like scripture crazy. where someone is going to accept Jesus Christ because of a presuppositional argument? That's why Darth Dawkins 
The only th- he's the only only game in town he has is the precept argument. I don't ever hear him share the gospel with anybody. This guy that came in here will not share the gospel with anybody. The gospel of Jesus Christ is for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever should believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. No presuppositional argument is going to get you to Jesus Christ. And the fact that this guy come in here bloviating like he did and couldn't answer this simple question uh, shows that the only thing he, he he's more thinking about his own uh, position, his own argument than uh, who Jesus Christ is. He, I agree. he come in here. He come in here jumping all over me thinking that I was an atheist earlier, like he was some Billy badass. He didn't even know that I was a Christian. He wasn't even listening to what I was saying. That's why these people like Dart, these guys here on, on Discord who come in here running these presuppositional arguments and think that's the only game in town. Well, I tell you, you better be prepared to share the gospel with people. That's right. Because if you can't Damn share right. the gospel with if you can't share the gospel with people, you're doing absolutely nothing for the kingdom of heaven. And now the guy ran away, which I'm glad I don't Amen. want the guy back in my room. Preach it. These atheists, like I why I don't want to talk about the gospel with these atheists. They like they have the worst interpretations of the Bible. They just they just say it like all these horrible things about it. So okay, I, I Ebike, all I'm talking. saying is, all I'm saying is you better be prepared when you're having these conversations to share scripture, not come in here like this guy with the only thing he had with some presuppositional argument and then made the bold claim that he proves God to everyone every day by his presuppositional okay. argument. Now, when I, I said prove you... God, when I said prove God, someone brought up JP Moreland earlier. I thought it was him. But it wasn't. He he and he. Uh, J.P. Moreland says God has made has created himself in such or has has made the world in such a way and created us in such a way that if we want a relationship with him, we'll have the sufficient means of having the relationship. But if we don't, he also created it in such a way that if we want to stay away from him, he'll allow that as well. So you can't tell me that you can come in here and prove God to someone who wants no relationship with God. The guy was full of freaking shit. And he I thought he he acted like an atheist is what he acted like. I don't yeah, he was actually like, I don't Kaysan was in, in, in like uh, that my room. Yeah, I don't Kaysan want was him in to ever the other step day. back in here in my room. I'll Matt. server mute his butt again. Yeah, Matt. Kaysan was actually in um Clubhouse the other day and he was doing basically the same thing and Tom had to be had to basically trim like a deer in headlights and tiptoe around to keep him from flipping out over and over again. He, yeah. he even says himself, he's like, yo, I tend to be really aggressive. Like, do you just be, well, you, you, know, you tend to be an asshole or you should probably not do that. And, well, you know what, you know what he was, he said, go get your milk, go get your, when I ask him a simple question, like no Christian acts like that to another Christian. I love being convinced you're an atheist. I, I, that was I asked, hilarious. I asked, him, I asked him a genuine question. Uh, where in the Bible does it say you someone comes to believe in Jesus Christ because of a presuppositional argument? And he's like, "Go get your sippy meal." Go, what a what a little freaking coward! If he had have said that to my face, it'd have been all I'd do is just not slap the ever living shit out of him. Because right. the worst thing is because he identifies as a Christian. Keep That's why I would smack the shit out of him for saying that if he said that in front of someone's face. And he would have deserved it. The precept argument is the best, though, hands down. You're not that The precept tough, argument is not going to get someone who has animosity toward God to God. No Anyone argument, here anyway. thinks it is, they're full of freaking shit, Evite. Yeah, but no argument's going to get someone like that to believe anything. Okay, so, so what do you mean it's the best argument? I agree it's a good argument. I agree it takes atheists' ability to reason away. But that doesn't mean it gets them to God. Well, because the reason they don't believe good observation, man. bias and the precept argument attacks their bias. That's why I think it's the best. Yeah, I agree with that. What do you think Darth is doing wrong, Matt? If it's the case that someone presents the gospel of Jesus Christ to someone and they reject it and they mock it and they ridicule it, then... They're also not going to accept the presuppositional argument. I agree. The, presuppos- the presuppositional argument um, 
uh, now it, it could get someone away from atheism, uh, but usually those people that leave atheism will not sit there and mock and ridicule the gospel. This guy came in here and had the gall to say that he proves God to atheists every day. Now, I don't know what I tried to figure out what he meant by proving, but I was asking him how many uh, I was trying to ask him how many atheists come to believe in God or said that God exists after his argument. He said every day, everyone he has conversations with. Bullshit. Yeah, I think what he meant is that he presupps them and presup is solid. So he wins every time. Okay, well, he might believe Mm -hmm. he wins every time, but I didn't ask him that. I asked him how many people he brought to Christ or he proved to them God exists by his argument. He said every single day, every argument he's in. Do you think that the atheist is going to believe that you prove God exists by your precept argument? (laughs) What a joke. I don't know. Maybe they will. I don't know. What do you think, John Lee? Uh, What do I think about what, John? So Matt is saying yeah, I, you can't just you declare agree, your I, own victory. Is that what I heard? I think I think you would. I think John Lee would agree with me that just because someone runs a precept on someone doesn't mean that they prove to that person God exists. Yeah, so just because Case now, maybe, declares that he won case, doesn't mean that he won. It, it may be the case that John Lee and I think that's a good argument for God, but when you're talking about proof, what I when 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 I think of what proof is. Proof is when the Bible says every knee shall bow and every tongue confess. When everyone is face to face with the creator and they realize that they are wrong and that they fall on their knee they, they, and confess. That to me is proof. That's what I was meaning. Now, maybe he thought I meant something different, but uh, that's how, what I meant. But he was so arrogant, so condescending that he couldn't even listen to what anybody said. And like I said, if this guy had been in my face, claiming to be a Christian, acting like that, I would have probably slapped the shit out of him. And I wouldn't have felt a bit bit guilty about doing so. Because I do not want any Christians acting like that to other people, much less they're supposedly their own brothers. I don't even know if this guy is even a Christian. Because there's no Christian that's going to come. Oh, well, why don't you get a sippy cup of milk? Oh, and and you're just wrong. You're just stupid to your own brother in Christ. I mean, and that's what he was doing. Uh, so I don't even think the guy even has Christ in him back like that. But if he does, he needs to have the shit slapped out of him and have some sense knocked into him. Mm-hmm. But anyway, we can move on. I thought I, I, I server muted him because he kept bloviating and kept interrupting and over talking people. It took me a while to fa- find him. But then once I found him, I, tr- I was like, well, I'm going to give him another chance. I'm going to try to answer, ask him, let him ask, I'm going to ask him some questions. I started asking him about the gospel and he didn't even bother. He was just mocking and ridiculing at that point. So that's when I server muted him. But I didn't think I did. I guess my internet was kind of sluggish because I kept hitting it. Nothing was coming up and then he left. So I guess, uh, I guess I, it did work. But um, if someone, like, if he comes back in and does the exact same thing again, he's going to be server muted again. Now, I give him a second chance to have a conversation, but if you're going to come back in here and I ask you a direct question about the gospel, and you're going to claim to be a Christian, and you're going to be, oh, well, go get your cup of milk. Oh, we'll do this, this, then you're not going to have a conversation in this room. Matt, who are you talking and that's about? that's what he did. I don't know who the guy was, but he apparently was a presuppositional Christian. They come in here and went real aggressive after me, like Dark Dawkins does, and uh, I, basically acting identical to what Darth has done to me in the past. And I'm just not going to put up that with any Christian. And like I said, if he wanted to do that to my face in public, I'd probably slap the shit out of him because he would have deserved it, claiming to be a Christian and acting like that. He said, go get your milk and go to bed. Yeah, he was saying, he was saying all kinds of stuff. And he just kind of you know, just and, and I was genuinely trying to ask him some questions because he was he was criticizing me. He'd come in and just went after me really aggressively because he thought I was a Christian, an atheist at one point. But he was going real aggressive after everyone, which, look, I can understand when you get upset, you start going after somebody. But he just come in hot and heavy from the beginning. Mm-hmm. And uh, 
didn't really have any reason to, and then even going after me, and then he was acting like he was acting around, you know, mocking and just talking down people. Oh, well, you know, oh, well, I guess.